good morning. And welcome to the right show. We hope you all had a great week. We will start off by showing the uh, b- birthdays. Tate, Oshane, Tristan, Thomas and William will be having their birthdays next week. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to everyone. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hooray! Here is today's weather. Right now in Serpentine it is 21 degrees Celsius. It will warm up to 32 degrees Celsius during lunchtime. It will be a wind. It will be windy and very sunny today. The UV index is going to be very high, so stay in the shade as much as you can and wear your hats and sunscreen. Next week we will see a movie from the year sixes. Enjoy. we've been learning a lot about circuits. In the last movie, we learned about series circuits. Do you remember what a series circuit is? Here's a little review in case you forgot. This circuit is called a series circuit. They call it a series circuit since it flows around and around in a loop. Series circuits are simple to make. But there's a problem with series circuits. If you have two globes and one goes out, then the other one will go out as well. Luckily, there's a much better way to wire a circuit. Before we show you, see if you can figure out how to rewire this circuit so when one light goes out, the other stays on. We're going to show you how to make a better type of circuit. This circuit is called a parallel circuit. Parallel circuits are designed so that the electrons can still flow even if one of the bulbs stops working. Parallel circuits also keep both lights just as bright. In a series circuit, both lights get dimmer. That's because the electrons have to wait in line. Sort of like a traffic jam. So do you think you understand about parallel circuits? Well, let's test you out. Do you think the lights in your classroom are parallel or series? Well, if one light goes out and the others stay on, they have to be parallel circuits. Now we're really going to test you out. We're going to show you a bunch of circuits and you're going to decide whether they're series or parallel. This one's an easy one. It's a series circuit. This is another series circuit. This is a parallel circuit. Hope you got that one right. On this one, we try to trick you. It's not actually a circuit, it's a bunch of mixed up wires that won't actually work in real life. We hope you understand a bit more about parallel circuits. As you can tell, they're a lot better than series circuits. Hey, don't Don't forget forget about the quiz! Action. Before we show you, see if you can rewire this circuit. Action. (laughs) I forgot my life. (laughs) Action. Here's a quick little review in <laughs> action. Oh, I forgot the first one. 
action. Action. Parallel circuits also keep both lights just as light, bright. In a series circuit, both lines have <laughs> my lines. <laughs> yeah, I know. I forgot. Action. <laughs> oh no. Reverse <laughs> addictive. That was a great show from the year sixes on parallel circuits. Hope you were paying attention. Are the lights in your classroom wired as series or parallel circuits? They are parallel, parallel circuits. circuits. Now time for some jokes of the year ones. Here's the joke of the day. Why don't you use dull pencils? I don't know. Because they're pointless. <laughs> Just a reminder that today the school leaders will be selling icy poles after sport for a gold coin donation for our charity. That's all the time we have. We hope you enjoyed the show. And that's a wrap. Border, border. border.